Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. You're looking very well. Today we have a super amazing recipe for you today. Super is the key word. These are some super Mario inspired cupcakes. So the mushrooms that you would see in the video game. Personally, I was more of a fan of Mario Kart uh, when I used to play Mario games. Uh, you had the red mushroom and the green one. One would make you double in size. The other one would make you go faster. So if you'd like to have a go, which I really hope you do, uh, you're going to need the following ingredients. Hit pause on the video now. The full method and all the bits and bobs and links and stuff are on my website, myvirginkitchen.com. Now to enhance this recipe, I was going to dress as Super Mario, um, but I'm called Barry, right? Super Barrio, see? B for Barry. Oh dear. Mm, I'm not going to wear a hat. We will avoid that because it's a Boston Red Sox hat as well. Some of you Yankees fans are going to be like, oh my God, you've got to like, stop wearing that. So I'm going to stay neutral, all that stuff. I am actually using an 8-bit mushroom cupcake uh, pan that I ordered online. There's a link below. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to give this away. So uh, stay tuned. Let's make these cupcakes. Do -do 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 -do. Right, sorry about that. First thing we're going to do, uh, sugar. For this cupcake mixture and our butter just dump that in there room temperature and as you know folks we have just got to cream it all together so get yourself a trusty spatula wooden spoon and just mix it at first it will start to cling to the sugar and then it will cr cr cream that's the word i'm using it's going to cream together as one oh yes as one there we go lovely jubbly the sugar is all merged in there nice and cream through now of course that cupcake tray if you can get it it's going to make it awesome but you don't necessarily have to do it folks okay uh, you could use a standard one and just get creative with a knife i'm adding my eggs now this is um four beaten eggs in total so i'm doing it half at a time just mixing that through a little bit starting to look a little bit like scrambled egg but uh as always it will turn out okay and remember i'm self-taught so if i can make this anyone can a little uh, splash of vanilla extract as well about two teaspoons maybe one and a half you can completely omit that if you like or maybe add some minty one if you're doing a green cupcake thing mint would look amazing wouldn't it darn i should have done that yeah, it is definitely quite scramble eggy right now, but anyhow, we will now dry up by adding in our self raisin flour, okay? So this is really gonna thicken it. We're gonna mix it through. You can fold it if you like. Just get it all incorporated together. So this batter is well mixed together, and I love this about a spatula. I've said it before, you can just like cling to the bowl and get every little ingredient in there. No bits at the bottom. Make sure you really scoop it in there. It's a teeny weeny bit thick for me. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is add in about a tablespoon of milk and I'm going to drink the rest. Oh yes, uh, mix that through and our batter will be done. As it's brand new, I've just given it a wash and just drying it slightly and also sitting it on a tray because it says to do that, uh, to help it level, I guess. And we've got some spray oil here. So we're just gonna give it a light little lubrication in each of these little holes. Uh, thank you to everyone that suggested that when I add batter into cupcake trays that I use an ice cream scoop. Now, I'm sorry, I'm pretty old school, but this uh, is the way I wanna do it. So I'm gonna get it in there, give it a little tap tap every time. I wanna get it about two thirds of the way up. So nice little tap tap, as I say, to level it off. And we talked about flavoring the batter, but you could also color it. So if you went for brown food coloring to make it even more authentic, you could do that, but I'm not. Let's bake it. In they go for around about 12 minutes. And if you're wondering, guys, you ask me this all the time, how do I do this shot? The oven isn't actually on right now. I don't want to melt my camera. See you in 12 minutes. Well, a bit a longer because I've got to preheat my oven. So while those cupcakes are baking in the oven, actually guys, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not baking in the oven at all. Um, this is what I actually do. They are there. The oven is preheating uh, right now, but I will carry on with these steps. We're gonna make our buttercream, okay? So right here is a bowl of icing sugar, aka confectioner sugar, and some more butter at room temperature. Please try and get it uh, room temperature so it's nice and clammy like that. It really will help uh, make the buttercream. So what we're gonna do is wake one big old batch of it and then divide it up so we've got our two colors so stir it gently at first so oh where's my voice going i'm like aftershave uh stir it first so it clings together my voice is going oh my god uh, and then we'll make oh my gosh it's gone it's, it's gone peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers right i'm back in the room buttercream sorry about that mad moment there folks but as i say we're just smoothing it through like that using a spatula make sure we get all that sugar up kind of like when we creamed the butter and sugar with a cake batter at the start get it all in there combined that is perfect we're going to divide it now and color it up we divided the buttercream up into two bowls we're going to get some food color in this is going to be our green one uh, so we'll get a little bit of that in there and then wooden spoon it to the max there we go, nice green frosting. Now I'd imagine, I haven't looked, but we might want to keep a little dollop of this to help seal the stem bit to the top of the mushroom. So we'll do that when we get to it. 
I also made a red icing in exactly the same way. Now to make the white spots that sit on top of the mushrooms, I have one of these. And that is simply from a mushroom. <laughs> that's not a mushroom, that's a marshmallow. Sorry, going bonkers today. And I'm just uh, snipping it uh, like this and then sort of shaping it a little bit, turning it over, and these will make perfect little spots. My backup plan was to roll out some icing, but I didn't want it to be like icing overkill. There we go then folks, nice and baked through. Uh, I've put a skewer through it to make sure they are cooked through. And also, as I said, they could have risen and they have. So what I'll do, once it's cooled down a bit, slice it nice and flush before putting it on a wire rack to cool down fully. Fungi-tastic, although I don't think I'm gonna have mushroom to eat them all, sorry about the bad puns, but anyhow, they're all nice and cooled down. This one got a little bit of a suntan there, a little bit of oil on it. So what we'll do now is frost our lids. I'm go quite gently and take my time with this. And I'll see you in a minute, hopefully, with a nice red mushroom. There we go, all nice and frosted. So now the marshmallow right on the top there, using the stickiness of the back of the marshmallow to grip to that frost in too. You might need to hold it, just touch it a couple of seconds like that, and a few more round the edges, and they're all done. There we go, check that out. Let's do a green one. Little change of plan, folks. I started to frost my second red one, and I thought I'd try the icing out instead, and it looks way better with the icing uh, rather than the marshmallows. So there we go, let's do the green ones. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our mushroom cupcakes. How good do they look? That is so cool. All right, so I'm gonna take the lid I'm not sure if there's etiquette of eating these cupcakes um, off. Here we go. Mm. If you would like to win that silicone mold, on the screen right now is a picture of Boston and I. And what I would like you to do is turn me and Boston into Super Barrio. Tweet me your picture at my Virgin Kitchen. I'll pick my favorites and put them on my Instagram and social media and let people pick the winner and I'll get in touch and you can win. But of course you can order it yourself. Uh, there's a link down below. Let me know what recipes you want to see next time, guys. I hope you give these a try and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.